everybody, thank you for joining another on CSEC CXE Geography Made Simple. Now today, I will be looking at gradient. How do you calculate gradient? What is gradient? Okay, so before we start, we're going to be looking at what is gradient. Gradient refers to the slopeness or the flatness or the steepness of a land surface area. Okay, so how do you calculate gradient? Let's go on the board and let's check this one out. Okay, so in calculating gradient, you first you need your vertical interval and you need your horizontal distance, right? You also will need your scale and you also will need uh, preferably a piece of paper so as to do your measurement. Okay, so uh, in calculating your gradient, it is VI, which is this vertical interval, uh, upon HD, which is this horizontal distance. Okay, so how do you do that? In this case, it's an example. The vertical interval equals five meters, right? The horizontal distance is equal 50 meters. So in calculating the gradient, what I would do, I would have the VI, which is five, and the HD, which is 50, and we do the mathematical calculation, and you'll get one over five, which will be a fraction, or you can write it as a ratio. Okay, so let's look at this example over on this side. All right, so here you have a diagram, and it asks the question, calculate the gradient between point A and point B above. Okay, so this is point A right here, and this is point B, right? Now, the gradient, uh, you, you want to find the calculate the gradient, right? So the VI, which is the vertical interval, refers to the contours, uh, should I say, the space, the measurement of the contours uh, between one contour line to another. Okay, so he, in this case it is 25. The contours actually moves up by 25. So you, here you have 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. Okay, so how do I find my VI? Now my VI would be, I would uh, subtract my lower um, you know, contour, which is at point A, from my upper contour, uh, which is at point B. So it is 25 minus 75, which here I've actually done it before, right? Equal 50. Okay, now now that I've done that, what I need to do now, I need to calculate. So this would be my VI, right? So this would be my VI. Okay, so now that I've done my VI, I need to now work out my horizontal distance. In calculating the horizontal distance, I need to make note of uh, what you call the, the scale, right? So what I would do, I would take a piece of paper, a uh, straight, straight line instrument, and I would measure and in doing this before, I, I calculated me. and I got five, right? Now, I had five, which is five kilometers. Now, five kilometers uh, cannot be worked out with, uh, let's say, 50 meters because here you have two different uh, measuring, you know, you have meters and kilometers. You have to have them in the same measurement time. So here, what I'm going to be doing, because one meter, 1,000 meters, give you one kilometer, I'm going to times the, uh, the five kilometers times a thousand, so I'm going to get uh, five thousand. So therefore it is five times one thousand give you five thousand, which is here, right? So it is five thousand is the HD, and the 15 which I calculate here would be uh, the VR. So in working it out, I will end up with uh, 50 into 5,000, gives you one, a ratio of 1 to 100, or if you want, you can have a fraction as to 1 to 100. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, join me next time on CSEX Geography Made Simple. Bye-bye for now.